call Halayim La Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, all praises to our power, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, double honors to the apostles and prophets of Great Millstone, and all the prophets that prophesy and feed the sheep. Shalom to the Akim and the Afguaf. Shalom to all the hopeful elect. This is another Share My Thought video. Uh, what I was meditating on this morning and the scripture I was meditating on today is coming from 2nd Peter's 2nd Peter the third chapter uh, verse 9 all the way to verse 13 and I'm gonna go ahead and read it and then it's a certain word I want to go into you know based on what I was meditating on so let's get into it all right, this is Second Peter, the third chapter, verse 9. Oh, Salaki, Salaki, y'all. Verse 10, actually. I'm going to start at verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat the earth also and the works that therein shall be burnt up seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved what manner of person ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the of the most high wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat nevertheless we according to the to his promise look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness and what I was meditating on in that is, you know, the importance, you know, of prophecy, you know, you know, our lifestyle, you know, our behavior, you know, everything we do in our lifestyle is centered around the coming of the day of the Lord, which is Yahweh Shai, that's going to destroy Esau's rulership, you know, and bless us with the kingdom of heaven. This is what we putting all our chips into. This is what we put our investment into, you know, from, you know, brothers that go out, you know, and prophesy, you know, or you got believing brothers and sisters, you know, that's, you know, hearing the word, you know, making adjustments in their life. You know, everything we do, you know, as part of the hopeful elect, it's that spirit of anticipation. We anticipate, you know, for a brighter future because we have a very beautiful future ahead of us, man. As Israelites, you know, the kingdom of heaven where we're going to rule in righteousness, you know, we're going to have slaves, you know, we're going to have power over resources, you know, and, you know, we're going to get first class tickets, you know, to see the downfall and the destruction of Esau's rulership. You know, Esau's rulership is the most wickedest kingdom, most wickedest rulership on the earth right now. And you know the Lord's going to be magnified in that day. You know the glory that you have by Shema Shah is going to receive. See, it, it, it makes sense now, you know, by Esau being this big bully, you know, the Lord going to show forth his power. You know, he's going to show forth, you know, his strength by taking down the most wickedest kingdom on the planet Earth. And if we part of the elect, we're going to have front row seats to see it. And the scriptures go into it in the book of Psalms. It said, when the wicked is destroyed, thou shalt see it. That's, the, that's what we're looking forward to. This is what we're fighting for. We are fighting, you know, we live in our life. We're anticipating the downfall of our oppressors, man. That Yahweh shall come down and destroy the wicked and bless us with eternal life, man, and beginning with immortality. Everything else out of, outside of that don't fucking matter, man. Excuse my language. It doesn't matter. 
your job, you know, get get in the bag, your, your nice house in Beverly Hills. That does not matter. All this bullshit that Esau push on television, you know, and this rap music and all that, the, you know what I'm saying? This this fake version of of a good life, it doesn't matter. And the script is going to, the scripture said it's going to be burnt up. Matter of fact, let me go into it again. Let me read it. Let me see. It says that it's going to uh, be burnt up. Verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. And the which the heavens shall pass away with what heavens? Esau's rulership. That's the heavens. Because Esau in heaven right now. Heaven is a, is a condition. He's rich. He got all the resources. He control all the resources. He, the scriptures say he got more than his heart can wish. And the scriptures say it's going to pass away. Shall pass away with a great noise. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works. That their end shall be the works. You, the works. Uh, the, the, I think uh, First John, if I'm not mistaken, the lust of the flesh, uh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, all that going to be destroyed and all that going to pass away. But they that do the will of the Father shall abide forever. That's what this talking about. The works that are therein shall be burnt up. The future of Babylon the Great, the future of America, uh, yeah, whatever. It is, I'm the best basketball player. I'm the I'm the best rapper alive. I'm the prettiest model. Uh, 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 I'm the I'm the first black lawyer. That shit not gonna matter in the day of the Lord. The Lord gonna destroy every work. He gonna destroy everything. He gonna to destroy this place. And that's what we should. Be, that's what our conversation. Should be about That's our, You know what I'm saying Everything we do You know Should be centered Around this place Being destroyed Hoping that we get saved Out of it Hoping that we part of that elect And you know And receiving this beautiful promise This beautiful kingdom Verse uh, Verse 13 2 Peter chapter 3 Verse 13 Nevertheless We Israelites Right the hopeful elect, right? According to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth. That's the kingdom of heaven. Wherein dwelleth righteousness. The kingdom of heaven is going to be a beautiful paradise, man. That's going to be ruled in righteousness. Right now, we're in a kingdom right now where wickedness is in power. That's why you sin, you know, I shouldn't go into it. Y'all should know. Those that, you know, that's in the truth, y'all should know what this man doing, you know. But I got a certain word, the certain word that caught my attention, you know, that I want to look up. It's uh, the verse 11 part when it says conversation. Matter of fact, let me read the whole um, verse so I won't confuse you. Sin then that all these things shall be dissolved that what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness all right i want to look up the word conversation so let's check it out We're going to look up that word conversation. All right. Charles G. 391. Anastrophe. 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 And let's look up the word. Let's look up the meaning. It says behavior. You know, when you hear this truth, you know, and the Lord put his spirit in you, 
You know, you're going to behave a certain way. And what's that behavior? You're going to anticipate. You're going to get ready. You're going to get prepared. Oh, and the scripture says uh, in the Apocrypha, I think second address, oh, my people hear my word, prepare thyself for the battle, prepare ourselves. We got to be prepared. You know, we anticipating, you know, for the, for the day of our Lord, man. We getting ready. You know, we like a little, we like a bunch of little kids with our hands out. You know, we ready to get that, you know, get that reward, man. You know, we ready to receive the promise. We ready to receive, you know, our inheritance, you know, that was promised to us. And that's the kingdom of heaven. So our conversation, we should be repenting, you know, being on our best behavior, man. You know, praying for Lord for strength, you know, praying to endure in these times, you know, separating, you know, from this world, you know, spiritually. You know, and just being on our best behavior, man. Let me look up another one. Manner of life, conduct, behavior, deportment, manner of life. Just like I said, manner of life. This prophecy every is it's our manner of life. It ain't just something you just do just to do it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't another thing of 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 Black culture, like the brother said from uh, Alabama, from the Alabama camp. You know, this is a thing. This is a lifestyle for us, man. It, our lifestyle, everything is centered around, you know, receiving, you know, ultimately receiving mercy from our Lord. You know, the, the, the Lord coming back, destroying this wicked empire and blessing us with the kingdom of heaven. Everything we do, our investments, our sacrifices, our obedience, our, our repentance, you know, our humility, you know, doing the things that are pleasing and acceptable unto the most high, you know, enduring, you know, praying, you know, doing the things that are pleasing in the eyes of the Lord. Everything you do, you know, should be invested. You know what I'm saying? Should be centered around what's to come. Because everything that all these trends that's going on in America, man, it's not going to matter, man. It's a bunch of it's a bunch of BS, man. And when Yahweh Yeh sent his son, Yahweh shot back, he going to destroy all this mess, man. It's going to be a complete desolate. So, you know, and it also should trigger your mind, you know, not to worry about things that don't matter. Because the only things that matter... The only thing that matters is Yahweh Shai delivering us out these chains, destroying Babylon the Great, and blessing us with the kingdom of heaven. So that's all I wanted to you know, bring out. You know, this is a share my thought video, pretty much what I was meditating on this morning. You know, stay focused on the bigger picture. You know, all these stuff that Esau pushing in America. To try to present you this 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 way of life. It's all BS, man. A bunch of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? We got a bright future ahead of us, man, as Israelites, man. Rulership. We going to rule, man. We going to go back being gods and mortals. We going we gonna to rule the earth, man. The earth is going to be under our subjection. You hear what I'm saying? We about to get blessed, brothers. We about to get blessed, sisters. Shalom.